Thursday morning. This is 106.1 KYVZ. Joe Vizurek on the phone with meteorologist Chris Schramick at Decision Weather and Atwood, as well as America's Weather Streaming Channel. Chris, still some haze to talk about across portions of the area. Yeah, Joe, we've continued to be in this kind of northwesterly flow the last couple of days, and that's left that smoke and haze coming from the wildfires up in Canada and the northwestern Rockies across the central plains. Uh, this morning, we're still having the reports of that across all of Nebraska, um, Iowa, and just a little bit out here along the Kansas-Colorado border, uh, our southwest Kansas monitors and the ones up in Akron and uh, Sterling are still showing that haze hanging around. Um, as that upper-level uh, high-pressure ridge develops and strengthens here the next three days, it's going to expand through the northern plains all the way to the south and west and then that should push eastward as we head towards the weekend removing all that haze and smoke out of the skies with some southerly winds uh, picking up definitely tomorrow and saturday at 15 to 25 miles per hour i'm out there this morning we've got those temperatures uh, ranging from 63 in burlington we got 61 in oakley 70 in goodland 66 up in mccook so they're kind of all over the board And then we got a southwesterly wind at 10 miles per hour. That wind will shift back to a southeast direction this afternoon. That'll warm our temperatures up into the upper 90s. And we'll kind of sit in the upper 90s for the next three days, Friday and Saturday, as well as those winds picking up tomorrow and Saturday also. The overnight lows will be in those middle 60s, and there is no chance for any precipitation unless we get it Saturday evening with a little weak wave of energy coming out of Colorado, and it looks like it could reach the Kansas-Colorado border, but it would die as it moved into a more stabilized and drier atmosphere uh, towards uh, the later evening period. So if we don't pick up that, it does look like we're dry all the way through the middle of next week as that high pressure will build over the central United States. And there, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday time frame, we could see temperatures trying to reach 110 or higher, specifically in South Central and Central Kansas to our east. So we do expect some heat advisories to be in place next week from the Kansas-Colorado border eastward. We could have fire weather conditions out in uh, along that border or eastern Colorado as we're drier out there and those winds will be uh, increasing in the afternoon periods. So we can definitely count on that uh, heat for next week all the way through the seven-day. No rain, and if you're looking further into the 14th day, it looks like all the way to the following Thursday, we could be dry that entire two-week period uh, before we start seeing rain towards the end of that on late next week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and maybe in the middle of the week, it looks like this ridge will start to break down, and we could see the rain chances returning. But up until then, expect 100-degree heat, heat advisories, fire weather conditions, and definitely start taking your precautions to prepare uh, to have things uh, drying out and heating up over the next several days. All right. Once again, that's Ag Meteorologist Chris Schramick at Decision Weather and Atwood, as well as America's Weather Streaming Channel. For KYVZ Radio, I'm Joe Vizurek.